<laughs> Brian Palava, I run far here with Ashley Arnold before the 2013 Leadville 100. Hello. Ashley, last time we were up here at Leadville, well, 2010 we were up here in Leadville. Mm -hmm. You were running running the race, I was pacing you. Yeah. You finished third, Yeah. but did not have the day you did won. Did not have the day I won it at all. Yeah, I think somewhere along, um, I think that the, the start of the worst part was you were pacing me up power lines. Oh, and I was like crawling like, Brian, I just want to go to sleep. I just want to go to sleep. And I think I had to pee too. And you were like, no, you cannot pee. You cannot sleep until we get to the top. And um, I just, let you do one of them when we got to the yeah, top. Yeah, well, I guess I peed. <laughs> I don't know. It's all a blur after that. And then I remember going around May Queen and I kept on like falling into trees and falling asleep, like literally falling asleep. So um, <clears throat> that was, that was bad. Have you figured out perhaps <laughs> how to deal with that? Um, you know, I think this, the past, I guess it's what, three years now? Yeah. Um, I've, I've done a lot of longer, I've done, I've spent more time awake. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of what I'm thinking. I've just gotten better about being able to stay awake and being able to function later and like yeah. have crewed people through later races and um and i think that's helpful and just um and also i really focused this past week on adjusting my sleep schedule mm -hmm. which is something i didn't do before where i guess really the past two weeks i've tried to go well i have started to go to sleep earlier but i usually go to sleep around midnight or 11 30 yeah. but i started going to sleep earlier earlier and waking up earlier mm -hmm. so i'm kind of like getting in a good so you'll feel good in the morning. So I'll feel good in the morning, which is good. The last time the, other, the last time I ran, I didn't really sleep much before, and I don't know if that was an issue. I just am really weird about sleep, but I think, I don't know. I feel like better about it. Gotcha. This is a really vague and not really good answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's your fitness? I mean, you were, you ran 23 low in 2010. You were significantly better shape than that time, I think. Yeah, showed. I think so. And I mean, what do you think you're capable of out here? I don't know, Given you know, current fitness. it's so hard to say. I never feel like I'm in shape. So I just never, I never know. Um, I ran, the last time I ran this, I ran White River and I think I ran like an 849. I like was really tired. I really like pushed it. And this year, luckily I didn't have to push that hard. Um, and I ran like an 828. Um, okay. And I definitely took it easy in some sections because I was kind of other people were tired and so and have to work as hard, which I really, which was good because I was worried about recovery from that so race. Like three weeks, three weeks between White River mm -hmm. and fifty. And, and so just because I don't do a lot of ultras, I was worried about my recovery. And so I ended and I felt good. I didn't feel like drained. I didn't feel. And so that was a good. Um, that was like a good promising sign for me because it was faster and I didn't feel as trashed. And have you felt since? You felt that I, recovery's continued? Yeah, I good? feel pretty good. I don't I haven't done I did a three and a half hour run last weekend. Um, and I felt pretty good and then I really haven't been doing too much since then. Okay. Um, so and I took a little road trip to the northwest and kinda of didn't run for the week after my river. So you're relaxed. So I've I've just been yeah, I've been trying to relax. Nice. Yeah. Um after Leadville in 2010, you kind of moved away from ultras for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, you did some leading up to it, and then you were doing some shorter races. It's just like way too cool 50k, but yeah. weren't concentrating on the longer stuff. What brought you back to? Um, you know, I I did some of the shorter races, and I did like the U.S. Mountain Running Champs, and um, I really like running uphill. I like that stuff, but at the end of the day, when it came to training, I really couldn't spend the time I wanted to spend mountains and that's why I started traveling that's why I love being in Colorado that's why I love living in the mountains because I want to spend time in them and there's this you know catharsis that happens when you run a long time in the mountains and it's good for your mind and I found that my mind was better my myself is better when I'm running long and it's just you know there's something about that I don't know if it's so you live in you live in Carbondale. You're getting to run longer these days. What's your your favorite long run round? Oh, my favorite long run. Mm, well, I love the four pass loop, of course. But I haven't gotten to run that this year because of like my schedule and being like back and forth and. Um, Get in there before it snows. I know. So hopefully I can run it after this. Um, but my favorite. Let's see. I really like running in the marble area. 
because there's a lot of trails that aren't traveled that often. So south of Sopris, Mount Sopris. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like up 133 that way. Um, and I did some running over in Crested Butte, sort of in that area. I really like. Um, yeah, so, and Sopris. Actually, not Sopris is like my favorite 13 mile grind of a run. So, Mount Sopris is a grind. You like being up in the mountains. You're mm -hmm. pretty good at climbing. There's a lot of flat mm -hmm. at Leadville. Yeah. How do you, did you train for that at all? Or I did actually. I ran a lot of flat this year, um, especially early on. I did a lot of that, and I actually worked on my hiking, which is something I didn't, I think was a really weak point for me the first year I ran Leadville. And I think I had this feeling that I had to run all the way up Hope Pass. And on the way out, I ran a lot of Hope Pass, and I definitely like bombed down power lines, which I don't think was good for me. Um, so I think I've gotten better at hiking, so I think that's good, and um, I did do I did quite a bit of road running early on, um, which was helpful. And then my easy days have always been a in town. Flat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you've got Tina Lewis coming back. She mm -hmm. won last year. You got Denise Barassi. You got a couple other good ladies. Are you focusing on racing them, or are you running your own thing? Yeah, I haven't. I I never looked at the entry list. So. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You know, it's a hundred miles. I've done this once before. Um, I love Leadville. My goal is really like to race against myself, and that's why I want to see what I can do. I want to see how fast I can run, how comfortable I can be, how nice I can be to my crew and pacers, <laughs> and just like you know, spend the day just running. And that's like that's why I'm here. And if and if I can run well and I can have a good day, then you know that could be good. Nice. So I don't know. Well, uh, I want to see you have a good day out there <laughs> and enjoy it, Ashley. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got on there? Memento Viver. Like, live in the moment. Nice. And then my friend Blair and I both got this old tree. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, matching tattoos. Awesome. All right. Well, stay where you are. I'm going to come in. We're rolling. <laughs> <laughs> what a fine water bottle you have there. Thanks. It keeps me well <laughs> hydrated. <laughs> You've been doing too many product I videos. I was gonna pour it in my mouth, like trying to like the gator. But you like come out your nose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we just got our B-roll right there. Meow. <laughs> my cat. Yeah, give us your cat. Meow. <laughs> <laughs>